In this segment, Chef Peterson will make the classic focaccia or Roman flatbread. It will yield one half sheet pan. Ingredients include one tablespoon granulated sugar, one tablespoon active dry yeast, 12 fluid ounces water lukewarm, one pound two ounces all-purpose flour, two teaspoons kosher salt, three ounces onion chopped fine, one half fluid ounce olive oil, and two tablespoons fresh rosemary crushed. Okay, so now we're going to make a Roman flatbread also called focaccia. And for the focaccia we have some bread flour, we have water, lukewarm water, we have some instant dry yeast, we have sugar, we have some chopped onions, we have kosher salt, and we have some rosemary and some olive oil. Now the kosher salt we're only going to use half for the dough, the other half we're going to use for the top as well as the rosemary and the oil. So I'm going to put the rosemary and the oil aside a little bit, I'm going to start putting the dough together. In order to make a Roman flatbread, we're going to go ahead and give, we're going to use a, uh, a, a dough spatula. I'm going to go ahead and add the, the water first, and I'm going to add the active instant yeast. This ensures that the yeast gets dissolved right away, so I just give it a little stir with a, with a dough hook here. It should dissolve instantly, but I just want to make double sure that it is dissolved. I see that my uh, yeast has dissolved. I'm going to go ahead and add the flour at this point. It's very important you add the flour before you add the salt or the sugar. Reason being that if the sugar and the salt get in contact with the yeast, it starts working right away. So we're not going to get the use out of the yeast and the sugar as we should if we get in contact with the yeast right away. So now I have the flour in there. I'm going to go ahead and add my sugar. And I'm going to add half of the salt. The other half of the salt I'm going to use to sprinkle on top of the bread just before it goes in the oven, just for some extra flavor and, 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 and crispiness. I'm going to go ahead and add the onions. And this is a very quick dough to get started. When you make a yeast dough, you always want to Start out on first speed, so you do not make a big splash here. Again, there's not a lot of mixing time involved in this dough. It's a pretty soft dough, so it don't take very long time to mix. As you can see, it's coming together pretty quickly. The basic thing we want to do now, we, all we want to do is develop the gluten. The gluten got to be developed in order to entrap the uh, carbon dioxide uh, that, that, that is formed when the gases is made by the, uh, by the yeast and the sugar combination. What we're going to do, just going to mix the dough, it is as soft and a little bit sticky dough and that's what we're looking for. If you don't make it, if you make it the dough too stiff, it's going to become a little bit, uh, it's going to be a little bit tough, the, the Roman flatbread, when you're done with it. At this point here, I want to just scrape down a little bit, make sure everything gets off the, and get incorporated properly. And now we want to check and see if the dough has developed properly. Take a little piece of dough and you just take a look and see if the membrane has developed. And we have a real nice membrane already, so we are ready to, to take and just let the dough rest. At this point, the dough is going to rest for about an hour to maybe sometimes an hour and a half, all depending on the dough temperature. Uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to take, and I have an oil bowl right here with a little bit of oil in it so the dough will not stick. And I'm going to put the, the dough in that and just cover it with a film wrap and put it in a warm place. See, you have the dough here. Just form a small ball. Put it in here. 
And I'm going to go ahead and just cover it with film wrap so that so that the dough don't dry out. It's very important that you cover it so the dough don't dry out. If the dough dry out, it'll be tough to work with when it has sit and rested. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this and put this in a warm place so they can sit and, and rest. And it needs to double in size, at least double in size before we work with it again. All right, so here I have the dough that rested for about an hour. And as you can see, it has doubled in size. Now it also has a chance to, for the gluten to, to kind of relax, so now I can work with it. This dough is just enough for half a sheet pan, so I have a half a sheet pan here. I'm going to brush it with some olive oil. Now the olive oil is going to be on top and the bottom of the sheet pan. So I'm just going to very carefully brush the sheet pan with olive oil. Okay. Okay, here we go. And then I'm going to just to invert the dough into the sheet pan here. Now, now the dough is going to deflate a little bit, but it's, as you can see, it's very pliable and easy to work with. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over, so now I have oil on both sides. As you can see, it's very thin and very pliable. However, at this point, when I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and put it back in that warm spot it was just a second ago, and I'm going to let it sit and proof a little bit more. The proofing process is what it is called when the dough rises. So you can see we have the onions in there, and now we have a real nice even piece of dough that is very easy to work with uh, because that we let the reason that it's easy to work with is because we let the let the gluten relax and the dough rise up and now it's pliable. Before I put it in the warm spot, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle the rosemary on top and the kosher salt that we have reserved. Remember before we made the dough, I reserved about half of the kosher salt in order for us to use it to sprinkle on top of the on top of the focaccia. So here we have it like this. It's going to give a real nice flavor as you eat it. So now I'm going to put this in a warm spot and let it sit and rest for about another hour or so. So now it's been about 25 minutes since we put our focaccia bread in the oven. Let's take a look and see what it looked like. Oh yeah. Nice and golden brown color. And there you have it. You have the rosemary on top. You have the little specks of the kosher salt. That's some of the reason we use kosher salt. It does not disappear uh, during the proving process or the baking process. You can see the specks of the salt on top. Very nice, attractive piece of, flat, of Roman flatbread, also called focaccia. You can slice it in squares, so you can slice it in strips and serve it any way you like it.